This tutorial shows new and updated features in D2L Learning Environment 10.5.1. The Enhanced Security for Content File Topics feature increases the level of content protection for primary content files so instructors can ensure learners cannot access them earlier than anticipated. For example, if the instructor sets a release condition for the content topic, then learners must view a topic before they can view the subsequent topic. Will fulfills the release condition and now has access to the next topic. Will forwards the URL to another learner, Isla, who has not yet fulfilled the release condition but wants to view the content topic. She tries to access the URL. However, she is unable to access the topic directly without fulfilling the release condition. Instructors can track deleted submissions by viewing the submissions log in the folder submissions area of the Dropbox tool. To begin, click Submission Log. In the log, instructors can identify who deleted the submission and when. To restore a deleted submission, click Restore. Administrators can copy the model configuration from an existing course that is part of the D2L Student Success System to save time when setting up a new course. To begin, Click the context menu for the course for which you want to build the model configuration and select Configure Model. Then click Copy Model Configuration. From here, you can select the course from which you want to copy the model configuration. The following enhancements were added to the Turnitin LTI based integration. When you copy courses with Turnitin enabled Dropbox folders, Turnitin settings now also copy. You no longer need to adjust end dates to allow learners to submit late assignments. It is easier for you to allow learners to view originality reports when they click on their originality score due to syncing between options in the Turnitin tab in the Dropbox tool and options in Turnitin itself. And there are better default settings for group and individual Dropbox folders. Administrators and instructors with the appropriate permissions can now see who copied a course through the Copy Course Components History page. To begin, from Import Export Copy Components, click View History. The history displays which users have copied the course and when. This feature implements PI Item D1205. All locations of the Topic Score Details screen in the Discussions tool now have consistent presentation across all instances of the screen. Instructors have access to the Topic Score Details from the following locations. Assess Student Link in the context menu of a thread or reply post. Student Link on the Assessments tab of the Assess Topic area. Submissions button in the Grades tool on the Enter Grades grid. Submissions button from the Grade Item page available when you click Grade All from the context menu of a grade item from the Enter Grades or Manage Grades areas. And more! Instructors can specify multiple IP address restrictions as ranges with the option to add multiple IP address range restrictions. To begin, from Edit Quiz, navigate to Optional Advanced Restrictions, and click Expand Optional Advanced Restrictions. Then click Add New IP Range and enter the desired IP range. This enables instructors to limit quiz availability to specific locations, such as computer labs or classrooms. D2L Learning Environment 10.5.1 has several new and updated release items. There is enhanced security of content files for content topics, so instructors can make sure learners cannot access content files earlier than they want them to. Instructors can now track deleted submissions in Dropbox. Administrators and instructors with the appropriate permissions can now copy the model configuration from an existing course to save time versus having to create the model configuration again. When instructors copy courses with Turnitin enabled Dropbox folders, Turnitin settings now also copy. The default settings for groups and individual Dropbox folders are updated. Instructors no longer need to adjust end dates to allow learners to submit late assignments, and it's easier to allow learners to view originality reports. Administrators and instructors with the appropriate permissions can now see who copied a course through the existing Copy Course Components History page. 
All locations of the Topic Score Details screen in the Discussions tool now have a consistent presentation across all incidences of the screen. And, instructors can now limit quiz availability to specific locations, such as computer labs or classrooms.